Hey guys, welcome back to the channel where I share videos about sewing, pattern drafting, and everything fashion. My name is Linda. Today I'm going to be sharing with you guys how to make this beautiful stylish sleeve short A-line dress. If this is the kind of video you feel like watching, please stay tuned as we dive in. So now I have my fabric here on the work table and I have two yards. This Kampala fabric has a shiny part which is the front and then the other part which is not is the back. Now I also have my net here, I don't know what it's called, I'm just going to be setting this aside and then we head on to the drafting of the style properly. So I have folded the fabric like this just like you see me doing and I'm using the widest part of the body to determine how wide I'm going to spread this. So I am using the hip measurement which is the widest part for my client and then I went ahead to pin it down. I also didn't forget to add some space for the joining and ease allowance. So the first thing I did after that was to measure the length of the dress. So I'm going to make use of 40 inches and after marking the point there I'm going to connect it into straight line with my ruler and then at the top like this I'm going to come in with by 3 inches for the neck width and then for the neck depth I'm also going to come down by 4 inches this is because I am cutting the front piece now I'm going to take half of the shoulder measurement which is 8 and then I'll come down by 1 inch for the shoulder slant or the shoulder slope and then I'll also go ahead and connect it like this with my ruler in a slant manner and also from there i'm going to come downwards by eight inches for the armhole depth half of the armhole depth is eight inches total is 16 then i went ahead to measure the um, quarter of the bust circumference i added two inches is allowance then i added one inch for the sewing allowance and also connected it like this from the shoulder to that point so after marking a straight line i went ahead to curve it out with a curve ruler and next thing I did was to measure the bust point after measuring the bust point I connected a straight line just like you see me doing I'm also going to impute quarter of the bust circumference which is nine and a half added two inches for the ease and then one one extra inch for sewing allowance then I drew a slant line for that next I'm going to measure the hip um, line so I went down from the shoulder leaving my tape at the shoulder and measured 27 inch for the hip hip line and then connected that line into a straight line as well then i went ahead to place my tape roll this way to mark the quarter of the hip circumference i'm making use of 11 inches plus two inches additional um ease allowance and also one inch sewing allowance so now i'm going to my... connect the lines like this with my ruler so i'll just go ahead and mark a chalk all the way down to the length of the dress remember i didn't add, add my um sewing allowance i'm just going to connect it like this and now the next thing to do now is to place my tape through this way at the side of the dress at the lower part I marked one and a half inch for the curve because I don't want it to be so pointed at the side. Then I connected with my curved ruler like this, after which I went ahead to cut it out. So I added him in allowance at the lower part and joining allowance at the shoulder. So I will just go ahead and cut everything out, after which I will use it to cut the back. Now I've placed it on the back, I don't know if you can see what I'm doing. And then I marked one and a half inch um, zipper allowance and then at the neckline for the back I went down by two inches and that is it for the neckline and just going to cut out that part and then cut out the shoulders so I went ahead to draw the armhole for the back I'll go ahead and trace that line instead of cutting the front armhole on the back then I'll just position my hand to trace and cut out the sides after which we are done for that of the back okay now the next thing I'm going to do is to also shaping out the side for the um, back which I did for the front so I'll just go ahead and place my scissors this way and then bring it upwards slightly so after doing that I went ahead to take away all the pins I used to secure it in place and after that I'll go ahead and split the back piece open okay this is the front and that other one is the back so I'll place my scissors this way and open up the back piece remember I have zipper allowance there so because we are going to be inserting our zipper I'll go ahead and just open it up all the way from the top to the bottom of the dress 
So after I was done with that, I'll go ahead now and work on the neckline. The first thing I did was to cut out the facing for the front and back neckline, okay? So this is the facing for the front neckline and this is facing for the back neckline. I'll go ahead and turn it this way, right side to right side, facing each other and then stitch by half of an inch. And then after which I'll flip it behind and then stitch it again by top stitching. I'll do the same thing at the back as well. Align it with the right side facing each other and then stitch it by half of an inch just the way you see me pointing and then do the same thing for the other part as well after i am done this is what it looks like this is how beautiful it came out looking like i also went ahead to top stitch and then i notch it out as well before top stitching so this is what i have for the three parts of the dress now the next thing i'm going to do is to join the shoulders so for me to join the shoulders i'm just going to place them this way with the right side facing each other and also with the facing you can go ahead and stitch it like this at one piece or you can go ahead and stitch it the other way around there are so many ways to stitch this shoulder line whichever way you deem fit you can use that to stitch it you can just like fold it this way and then stitch but i'll prefer to stitch it in a straight line okay now the next thing i'm going to do is to cut out the sleeve so I have my basic long sleeve here. I'll go ahead and measure the length. So I'm making use of 24 inches, okay? The next thing I'm going to do now is to go ahead and use it to achieve the slash and spread method. So I measured 11 inches from the upper part to this point, and then I marked it and connected it with a ruler to draw a straight line across, just like this. And from that point, I'm going to go downwards and then measure what I have here and divide it into two to get the midpoint. This is where I want to start slashing and spreading my pattern. So I have two and a half inches there. I'm going to bring it upwards like this and also mark the same measurement, making sure I mark it all the way to the line which I drew at the top, just like this. After marking, the next thing I'm going to do now is to place my ruler this way and connect a straight line all the way from the top to the lower part. So after I was done, I went ahead to cut through the lines, just like you see me doing. So just be careful not to cut it all through to the last part, okay? Leave some space there so that it wouldn't cut off. And then the same thing goes for this side, just the way you see me cutting through. I didn't cut it off entirely. So I'll go ahead and also do the same thing for the other side gradually so that I won't cut it off. Now I'll just go ahead and open it up. Um, um, determine how, how wide I want my sleeve to be and then place another pattern paper underneath it and trace out the lines. So I will use my um, pant curve to trace it out. So I'll go ahead and just like use my pen to trace out the curve at the upper part like this and then next I went ahead to use my pant curve just like I said to guide me in tracing this out. Okay. Now I'll go ahead and add my so in allowance for the sleeve, I'm adding one and a half inches there so that I'll have enough space to work with because this is a free dress. I added one and a half inch. So I'll do that all through and connect with my ruler. So guys, I also went ahead to draw out the other lines to trace out the sleeve properly and then also connected the lower part as well. And after I was done, the next thing I want to do now is to remove this other one and so this is optional. I'm just trying to add some little curve around this part so that it will look like a sleeve that we are trying to achieve. So I'll go ahead and cut out that tiny piece around there. You can see how tiny it is. It's not so obvious. Now the next thing I'm going to do is to place my tape ruler and then start drafting the um, design for the sleeve okay the first thing i'm going to do is to mark 11 inches here and then the next i'm going to give a space of about two and a half inch okay which will serve as a space for the net and then i'm going to come down downwards again and then mark three inches just like this which will serve as a space for the ankara for the fabric and then vice versa i'm going to come down downwards here by four and a half inches to serve as a space for the net yet again and then i'm going to also mark another two and a half inches for the fabric and two and a half inches for the net and vice versa now i'm just going to use a ruler to draw a straight line to connect the lines all across
after drawing the lines i now have seven spaces in between the lines and then the next thing to do now is just to demarcate it out and then tell you guys the part that will go for the campala fabric and the net fabric so the circles i'm making are going to serve as the one for the campala and then the one that i shaded is for the net i'm going to do this for all other spaces and get back to you now this is what I had after I was done. So you can see the circle part which is the um, Kampala fabric and I'm just going to mark that as A which is going for, to serve as the same thing as Ankara. Then this number one here is for the first layer of the net and then we have another layer for the Kampala and then another layer which is number two for the net followed by Kampala layer. Then number three is for the net and then the last we have is for the Kampala okay so the part where I mark one two three are for the next while the part I labeled as A is going to be the one for the Kampala so I'll go ahead and cut everything out and then get back to you this is what I had after I was done cutting I'm going to take away the one I numbered with numbers and then the one with the alphabet which is the and Kampala fabric I'm going to assemble them for you guys to see so I have four there and I have three for the net so I'll just go ahead and cut this out on fabric and this is what it looks like I also added joining allowances of 0.5 inches in between the cuttings in between the patterns and I cut out double for each sleeve okay so I have these patterns going for the two sleeve i cut it out double on each sleeve now setting this aside i went ahead to also place the other pattern on the net now i'm going to cut it out i also have double layers for the two of the sleeve okay now I'll go ahead and use my scissors to cut through remember to leave like half of an inch sewing allowance in between the gaps just like you see me doing okay so that you'll be able to stitch it to the other um fabric now after cutting out the patterns this is what i have i have two for each sleeve you can see how it looks like so i'm cutting out double now next i'm going to do now is to assemble it and arrange it the way it's supposed to be and then i'll head over to the same machine to stitch everything together So guys, this is what I had after I was on stitching. You can see that I have some allowances picking out. I'm going to head over to the weaving machine and weave it all through to give it a neat look. Okay, so this is the back of the sleeve. I'll go ahead and set it aside. And now I've already gone ahead to stitch the shoulder line for the front and the back of the dress. I'm going to be attaching the sleeve and after which I'll go ahead and close the sides, fix the zipper and hem the lower part. So guys, this is how it looks like after I was done. This is how beautiful the dress came out looking like. As you can see, I am done with the sleeves. I've attached it and I went ahead to also hem the lower part. So this is the sides. I've closed it and this is the zipper. This is how beautiful everything came out looking like. And then as for the sleeve i went ahead to weave it before attaching it and guys the beauty of this sleeve is weaving it okay when you weave it it's going to come out really nice with a nice finishing so i went ahead to also attach it to the dress and i also ironed it out after joining the sides then i went ahead as well to hem it and that is basically all for this tutorial this is the sneak peek of the dress this is how it's looking like i'm in love with this dress already just that this is for a client I'm also planning to make one for myself. So thank you, thank you guys for sticking with me up to this extent. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye for now.